newcomers to Canada can face a lot of obstacles, but the Victoria Immigrant and Refugee Centre Society tries to break down those barriers. And one of its unique programs is the Welcome Gardens, which build connection and help battle food insecurity. In this week's Vital People, Tess Van Stratton has more on that and a special fundraiser to help the program. We grow uh, different types of zucchinis, tomatoes, of course, lettuces, kale. Sunit Munoz shows us what's been growing in a little plot in Victoria's North Park neighborhood as part of the Victoria Immigrant and Refugee Center Society's Welcome Gardens program. We started uh, growing uh, multicultural food gardens and teaching newcomers, immigrants and refugees with the mentorship of the already expert gardeners of Victoria how to grow their own food here. The settlement program was started six years ago to help battle food insecurity and build social connections. Something Sunit, a Mexican-Canadian, knows is crucial. What I love most is building community with the people who participate. So I'm very lucky because usually when I have volunteers or program participants, we always end up being friends. So that's my favorite part. <laughs> Christina Lee also knows what it's like to be a newcomer. She moved to Canada from China 10 years ago and is also a big believer in community building. The Victoria Immigrant Refugee Center Society been helping me when I was a newcomer, so I was super grateful. And that makes me thinking, what can I do to back to the community? So I was decided, okay, why not? We're having something positive and cheerful for everybody to feel included in the community. The result was last year's Victoria Health and Wellness Fair, which will be bigger and better than ever this year. The fair is on August 19th at Royal Athletic Park. We have a wide variety of different community participants. So we're having people who are in the realm of uh, mental health, physical health and dietary health. We want everybody to come to enjoy the party, to enjoy the positive and cheerful community we're building there. Admission is by donation, with all of the proceeds going towards the Welcome Gardens program. To help more newcomers and then make them to feel like welcomed in the society so they can to help the newer comers. So we help and help and help. Just pay it forward. Exactly. I was taught at a young age that we should be giving back in our community whenever we can. And that taught me, you know, the value there, the sharing in other people's joy and how, uh, how that brings joy to my own life as well. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.